Hey guys, I'm back today teaching you another tutorial on cloning but making a little more advanced by adding different clips instead of the same ones. This is what it's going to look like and I'll show you how to do it in just a second. So you got one trick, two tricks, and then three tricks. Alright, let's get started. First off, make a new composition. Again, put the settings to whatever your camera does. I use the GoPro, so it's 60 frames a second by this stuff. And just take your longest video first, just put it in there. This is my 5.0 right here, just like that. And just like the last one, you're going to put in another one on top of it, only move it over a little bit in time, say about one to two seconds. And then what you're going to do, you take the rectangular tool and then you draw a square. Okay, so that when there's the first layer and then you see the guy from the second layer appear. Now, before you do anything, you're going to want to set up a mask path. So, ooh. get this out of there. Now go MPM, and then set your mark so that the first clip comes in, and then you just follow it with the box. See, there I am. You just follow him all the way till he's out of the frame. like that you may need to extend the box a little bit Ooh, it's getting a little close I have to bring that back nope that's good just like that and follow him out of frame and that's the first clip so now you have this guy Oh, messed up a tiny bit there. Let's just put this back there. Alright, so now, looks just like this. You got two people going, both at the same time. My hand right here may have come out of the frame a little bit, but we could fix that just by going like that a little bit. And bam, I'm still in the frame, right out. Both clips are done. Now, I'm going to add a third video into it just so we could just however many videos you want to have you need to have this on a tripod and, or else it won't work so set the clip a little bit more forward just like the last one get your rectangular tool draw it again out of the frame MPM mask path so there's one there's two you see the box around that guy? We could fix that later. I'll show you just how to. But for right now, let's get these clips in. And then there's the third guy. He's riding up. Good. Now, all you want to do is you just follow him, just like the last one. That one got a little bit too close to the guy, so I think I'm going to move that back in time, or forward in time a little bit, so it gives him a little more space for them. And he rides up frame, just like that. So your almost finished product would look like this. All three of them going. You could adjust the time so that they all flow at an exact time amount, but for right now that's good. Now, to get rid of the boxes, because you could easily see the boxes around that, to get rid of that, what you do is you go in the mask and you click the feather. And all you want to do is give it a nice feather, drag it out just like the other video. It's pretty much the exact same thing as the other video, only it's just different videos instead of one clip. 
just repeating itself. Okay, that one's good. Now the second mask, right there. Give it a nice feather so that you can't tell the difference between backgrounds. And everything works out. Okay, put that back up. Cut it. Trim the comp area to where it ends. Right about there. And then this is your finished product. Alright. If you have any problems with your editing, just message me. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.